have to find reasons to move on, the meaning of life to move on, what it's all about. When there are other children in the family, that still is the question. Other children need attention and need love and need to sense that they're important and meaningful enough for a parent to remain very full of life and active, but nonetheless, even to do that is quite difficult. So I have interviewed Pamela Young at a conference that I went to in March where I did radio interviews with many. And I'd like you to overhear the entire interview process with Pamela Young, even the cheerful greeting, because I want you to experience her her personality post the death of her child to aid. And then we will return for a more discussion, more of your comments or call-ins, and some beautiful music by Courtney Walker that will inspire us to move on, even though we have these horrible things woven into our lives. Here's my interview with Pamela Young. And ladies and gentlemen, we have someone else coming here. Her name is Pamela. Pamela, I do not know you, so this is going to be like so exciting to get to know you. And her last name is Yont. Y O U N T. If I said that right, Pamela. Yes, you have. All right. What a beautiful person that is, ladies Thank and you. gentlemen. She has she has brought with her what's called wismatic. My theory about finding the wise old one in you. My goodness, the older I get, the older I get. I don't know if it's wise or. <laughs> She's going to convince us that this is a good thing, folks. Pamela, first, tell us how people can get in touch with you so they know right off the bat what your contact is. Okay, they can. Uh, Find me on Facebook. I like that accent. Uh, I'm from North Carolina. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, they can find me at whismatic.com. Wonderful. And uh, they Is can order a phone them. number they can contact you with if yes, they're in your they area? Yes, they can call me at uh, 828-000. 962-4336. And what is your region? What's your city, your town? Hickory, North Carolina. North Carolina, beautiful. In between Charlotte and Boone and Asheville. It's in that uh, foothills area. Oh, I'm sorry, that's one of the greenest, beautiful, oh, humid, but gorgeous beautiful. part of the planet here. So tell me about Wismatic, Pam, and what, Pam Yaunt, am I saying it right? Pam, yeah. Pamela Yaunt. Tell me about Wismatic. What is this about? Wismatic is a theory about finding the wise old one in you. Mm. Um, I had a son uh, to cross over with AIDS in 1994. And um, through the experience, it changed my life. I started looking at things with a, a different perspective. I uh, started uh, getting a deeper understanding about the mechanics of life and what makes us uh, grow in our uh, beings. Uh, what I seen was that I was being been out of touch with reality into totality, into all the gifts of mm -hmm. the Spirit, mm -hmm. and was able to find a different part of me that I didn't know existed. Mm. So it changed my whole perception about how I looked at other people, how I uh, judged other people, Boy, how easy trap to fall into. Yeah. How I labeled everything. And those things that I didn't want to look at in myself or I feared, I tried to distance myself from them by putting certain labels or um, uh, Anything I feared, I wanted to uh, separate myself from, uh, and it changed me to a compassionate person that loved people unconditionally and gave them, empowered them to be all they could be in their life, to show up and be that person that they wanted to see coming at them, not uh, to uh, judge where they were coming from or why they were the way they were, just to give them uh, the empowerment to to show me who they were. You know? Wow. So th this is a very sad thing to have stimulated something so powerfully and loving yeah. in you. Recovery has got to be a chronic day-by-day -day process. Well, You're the thing like that, ch that I saw in all of this is that my son paid a big price yeah. to change our perception about what life was and how we looked at things and how 
are we allowed our social uh, concepts to come forth uh, from others and make uh, in, uh, implants in our minds about how we look at people and um, and how we judged how why things happen, you know. It just changed me, and um, and I felt like uh, I was told many times that I needed to put this on paper because I would give people something to compare with their situation uh, when they were going through these changes, and everybody has changes in their life. Death sometimes doesn't mean that uh, somebody's dying. It means a death of a dream, a death of a, uh, a goal, a death of um, a, a person that you love that just walks out of your life. Um, a significant loss. A, a loss. significant loss, loss that cannot be retrieved. Right. But after I started uh, changing, I started noticing the miracles that was taking place in my life. Seriously? Can miracles. you give us an example? Well, I have a, another son, and he had, uh, he had a massive heart attack. Um, and he was at the right place at the right time. He was where he could get help. He had um, doctor, the, the right doctor was in the emergency room to see someone else and uh, was right there or he would have died. He died 40 times and they brought him back to life. They hit him with a cardiac paddle 40 times. Yeah. And so um, the doctor that did the work on him, he worked so hard that sweat was running all the way down to his pants. And he didn't stop. He just did not stop. And so he told my son that he was a miracle man. No one had ever lived through anything like this. But I spoke that to my son that had crossed over, and I said, go find all the healers on this side and the other side. We're in big trouble. We need your help. Wow. So that doctor didn't stop. He did not stop. And he went. He rode with him from one hospital to another in the ambulance, pumping his heart all the way. And later... I learned this doctor's name. His name was Dr. Looney. And I said, in the South we have this saying, only a loony would do that, you know? But I was glad there was a loony. Yeah, he was there that day to save my son. So that's just one of the miracles. And that my book talks about all these and the many challenges that I overcame uh, to get where I am. And it's. Uh, Everybody, this is called Wismatic, W I S M A T I C. And I'll have a picture of this up on the website so you'll be able to check into that as well when you're looking at the archive. And. Um, Thank you, Pamela, so much for sharing the story. I know there's more to your story. A lot more. Yes, a lot more. So please do read the book. Contact her and give her once again. Give us once again your contact information. It is uh, Whismatic, www.whismatic.com, or you can call me at 828-962-4336. Thank you. Thank you so much, you. Pamela. You're welcome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, difficult. I'm sorry, the audio on that's a little bit difficult because we were sitting in the middle of a very active conference and it deals with all sorts of different uh, life issues. And Pamela Yant allowed me to capture her so I could let you hear her story. Now, what is interesting about the way Pamela dealt with it is that she experienced that her child would reach out of the, the afterlife and assist with other people's lives, uh, and, and that was her way of maintaining connection. And whether you believe in that or not, there are many stories exactly like that that you can attain, you can read about online, you can see them on YouTube about how parents really do experience their child afterward uh, and maintain that sense of connection 